that is inhibited by light. It's actually prevented by light. And melatonin is the hormone that allows you to fall asleep easily. Now I'm not talking about supplementing melatonin. I'm talking about melatonin that you naturally produce from your pineal. So the protocol is very simple. Get outside in the afternoon or evening for 10 to 30 minutes. Take your sunglasses off, get some bright light, get some natural light in your eyes. If you can't do that, probably better to just Stay with standard artificial lights inside. Don't crank them up, but just start to dim them. Again, this would be a time to avoid blue blockers. People are popping on blue blockers at four o'clock in the afternoon because you're worried that blue light is going to disrupt your sleep. Well, you're making your eyes more sensitive to any light that you might see later in the evening, blue light or otherwise. So get that afternoon light. So what you'll probably notice is that the optimal protocols for optimizing your brain and body health and performance and sleep, etc., are actually really simple. But just because they're simple does not mean that they are not powerful. In fact, they are very powerful because they leverage the most powerful technology that exists, which is your nervous system. You know, we always think about technologies as devices, and indeed there are some wonderful devices out there. Some people are really into tracking their sleep and their sleep time. If you're into that, great. That's not something that I personally do, although I keep telling myself that I, I should do that. There are devices that can control brain waves and things of that sort. But what we are talking about today are really basic things that we can all do that can steer our neurology and our biology in the directions that are going to support workflow that are going to support hormones, that are going to support brain function. So this afternoon light viewing is yet another example of leveraging a technology that you were born with and that you will die with and that you will have your every day in between in order to tweak the hormones 
of your system, in this case the hormone melatonin, so that it's released at the appropriate times and not at the wrong times. Because we know that when hormones and systems of the body are well aligned with the 24-hour schedule, beautiful things happen. And when they are misaligned, terrible things happen. Sometimes those terrible things are subtle at first, but disrupting your circadian rhythms is really bad for every system in your body. Getting it right, and as you can tell, getting it right doesn't take much, can really serve to quote unquote optimize you. When I say optimize, I mean it puts you into a better mood overall, better state for learning, etc. So get that afternoon light as well.